the Cinderella story of the tournament so far. Jared DeMichael and his 2010 teammates will forever be linked to this monumental moment. They're going dancing to the Frozen Four in Detroit. It's, it's obviously very, very hard to accomplish, but I think our, our group, the, the character is really what kind of stands out and um, said this before too, but just proving people wrong. There, there's nothing better in life than doing that. And that, that group definitely had that kind of it factor. While DeMichael's professional hockey days were short-lived, he's remained in the sport as a coach. DeMichael spent the last six seasons as an assistant head coach at UMass, where he helped guide the Minutemen to two Frozen Fours and the 2021 National Championship. It, it was definitely euphoric, to, to say the least, and uh, the year that we won it was the year of COVID, so just um, a, lot of, a lot of extra hoops to jump through, to say the least. But uh, our guys were, were fully, fully committed. I think our character, again, is kind of what got us to where we wanted things to be. And uh, sometimes, I think our good friend Dan Ringwald said, sometimes it takes some losing to learn how to win. And uh, like you said, three times a charm. But to, to finally get that was, was awesome. But this past summer, DeMichael decided to make a change, jumping at an opportunity in the Big Ten at Michigan State. The history and tradition of Michigan State second to none, um, but I think at some point uh, the, the goal is to be a head coach, and I think it was a chance to kind of broaden their horizons, learn and grow, and um, I, don't, I don't pretend to be a perfect coach. I know I'm far from perfect, um, and I want to learn and grow and get better and also know the, the history there of Michigan State, and they're, they're starving for it to be one of the top programs and going to do everything we can to get it to the top. 12 years after graduating from RIT, DeMichael is back in Rochester this weekend, joining fellow Tiger greats as an inductee into the RIT Athletics Hall of Fame. I think about RIT on a, on a daily basis, and I know I wouldn't be standing here today and have the position that I have coaching at Michigan State if it wasn't for RIT and the experiences that I had. And um, I think too often people only talk about the successes, but I think um, having to learn from my mistakes, having to go through some failures, it, it made me stronger, made me a little bit more thick-skinned. Um, it, it helped me grow a, a, as a person and very, very thankful of, of everything um, that RIT was, was given to me in my time at RIT, but also after RIT, the, the relationships is definitely the, the biggest thing. Um, it's a very, very special place.